Okay. Uh, uh, chapter A, uh, regulation of change pressure. Uh, may I remind you the recording is on? You probably don't want to say it that loud right in front of it. Uh, <laughs> We're going to write your notes, Dr. Chen. Okay. <laughs> So, so this chapter, I look at your assignment, uh, uh, even the, I'm not sure, uh, the performance certainly has improved. It used to be the worst, uh, most difficult question, uh, 60 hours, uh, sometimes 70% uh, uh, got it wrong. But now I look at the, the question, I scrambled all the questions, reshuffled all the answers, even the worst performed question has 90% correct. Because so <laughs> we read the book, man. Maybe. We're studying, doing homework. Yeah, the so people are reading now. <laughs> all, probably also because in the first few weeks, not all of you have the book. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, so I guess it's a good thing. At least all of you have looked at all the questions. Give me the right answer. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, so in a way, uh, Basically refreshing your memory, and this is uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me see. I, I think I figured out how to get the pen to work in a more uh, uh, better way now. So okay. So let's see. So this is the on the on the top. Notice this is something called DNA. So I can I can change the color. Uh, so, so this is what on chromosome the structure looks like. DNA. Uh, where is the transcription starting position for this one? Uh, will the will the MRA contain this part? So it's a five prime UTR. What is five prime UTR mean? Five prime untranslated region. Yeah. So this untranslated region means it, it must be on MRA. So so this so the transcription really starts from the plus one. This is where the transcription starts. Transcript. The MRI transcript basically is it. starting from the uh, first position. Where will it uh, stop? The three prime. No, the stop. Three prime. The stop uh, is for translation. Yeah, the three prime UCI yeah. is where it will stop. Yeah. So for you, system, you, uh, you know, going to add a poly A in the end. Yeah. Uh, AAA. Yeah. Uh, so that's the first position. Yeah. Uh, that's the first position. Yeah. 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 That's the poly HL yeah, yeah. Is that still considered translation or oh, transcription? This is when transcription. We, when you do the poly A tails, that's, that's the post transcription modification, okay. maturation of MRI. Okay. Yeah. So you will have, uh, well, I guess in this part we are, but uh, I'm actually jumping and uh, switching back home. This is actually bacteria, minus 10 and minus 35 days. There should be no poly A for bacteria. But, uh, sorry, let me scratch that one. <laughs> for, for, MR, for eukaryotic system, you have poly A and 5 prime uh, cap. Uh, if, you, uh, if you see minus 10 and minus 35 box, that's a bacteria promoter. Minus 10 is a criminal box. Minus 35 box is another box. That's where the, 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 the sigma factor binds to reduce the uh, uh, RNA polymerase. So, in fact, we actually tell the start of transcription here. And the Shan diagonal sequence should be on mRNA. Shan diagonal, that's where the ribosome will bind. So, but since ribosome binds here, the, the portion in front of it that's, will not be translated. So the ribosome will, uh, ribosome the, will go to, will be recruited at this place. Uh, actually, only the small subunit. The largest subunit will be recruited after the ATE. If you, uh, 
uh, record the translation process. That's translation going to uh, uh, first start with a small subunit with the initiation factor. After the initiation, the large subunit will be uh, uh, assembled there, and then the initiation factor will be thrown out, and then it start. Uh, so the ATG, this is mRNA now. Um, mRNA will be U, A, U, G, and stop cool down for uh, uh, 13 to, to finish there. Three points. So the first one will be Masani, the ATG, always Masani at the bottom. Yeah. <coughs> okay, that's a review. Uh, uh, but, but most of the DNA. Uh, DNA protein interaction, the protein often bind to the major group. Uh, I, I wish I can figure out a way to do a demo. This is because the major group is actually a no brand. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, if, uh, if we uh, have two uh, plastic ribbons, if we glue them together, you twist it around, you will notice the major group is the most sensible way if you hold the dust. Why? So it's, it's not something unnatural, it's just a natural, nat very natural for protein to, to, to grab on here. Uh, and, uh, when I figure out the proper way to, to demonstrate, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. uh, major mode of trend. If, if, we, if we regulate the enzyme, uh, it's actually a very fast response. Uh, if we regulate the transcription, that be slower, but the, the effect will be more stronger. So when is the slow, transcription regulation is slow, the protein, uh, uh, regulate the protein directly is a fast process. Major for so for transcript uh, transcription regu transcription regulation, you need you often need DNA binding protein, and that often binds to the invert repeat sequences. So I think last time we, we did an exercise on the board. How do we identify the invert repeat? Uh, so in this case, we have a. In this case, you actually have two separate invert repeats. So A, 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 T, 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 T on one side. And then you, you read it, uh, uh, at the lower right, this portion, you also see the same thing. T, T, T on this side. Uh, T, T here, at the same T. This is same T. And G, A, A, A. So that's the inverse of the repeat. And this is often where the DNA binding protein will, will bind. It is this way also because many of the DNA binding protein is a dimer or oligomer. So here you have one monomer bound, one repeat, another one is symmetric. So, so basically, it just uh, Double lock, so one bind to this one, and then you have uh, another unit bound to the other repeat. Okay. That's why it's an inverted repeat. And they are basically the same lock, it's just working on different, uh, uh, same key, two lock, two key, two lock. Okay, uh, we probably can do a, a onto a lab on protein structure and DNA binding if I'm allowed. Uh, okay. Uh, th then there are some concepts like negative regulation or repression or, or positive regulation. Uh, those are basically uh, some concepts. Uh, you know, we have to classify things. So, uh, Negative re regulation usually means pre prevent something from happening. And in this, uh, probably the best way uh, is the lack of uh, lack of or arginine 
biosynthesis. Uh, usually, the synthesis pathway for making refresh. Uh, so instead of uh, instead of ask, uh, I guess in the exam I'll probably give you a graph like this, then ask you what kind of regulation this is. So and maybe I give you a time interval at the bottom. So so remember in seconds have to be a protein. If it in uh, minutes are you minutes and often in transcription. So if you look at a time scale you can you can guess whether this regulation at the protein level or the regulation at the transcription level. And in this case uh, uh, the repression means the the arginine biosynthesis pathway is going to synthesize arginine. If we have a lot of them, then we don't have to synthesize on our own, right? So then the, the process will be shut off. So this is a, a repression. Repression usually is something called negative feedback. <coughs> we have gone through this before. You have already put it in the exam or question like that. So <laughs> this is basic. So uh, arginine added a relative uh, increase. So basically, the arginine biosynthesis uh, a rate should be something like this. Right? Uh, initially pretty high, eventually it goes down. Consider to arginine uh, concentration, the activity will be here. Uh, that, um, there's another uh, negative control <coughs> can also be used for induction that we lack opera. Okay, here's the lack of run. Uh, <coughs> are we all, it looks like many of you are not paying attention, so shall we go directly to the question? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm, no? Okay, uh, let's review that lack of run again. Uh, here's the lack of run, there's an operator. Uh, Operator is where the repressor protein will bind. When the repressor protein bind, and the RNA polymerase will be blocked. So there's no transcription of the lac opera. But when the repressor is uh, induced by uh, lactose, that's lactose. And then the, this part will be released from the operator. And then uh, The polymerase now can move to a uh, transcribe this DNA right? So it looks like uh, straightforward, but uh, let me see. The so in the cell, uh, it's actually like this. So when cells have a not uh, when cells have a lactose. But no glucose, no glucose. Glucose. And then this is when the lack of brown is induced. It, uh, so this is because there is something, uh, but when cells have glucose, when the glucose is there, even if you have the lactose, the lack of run is still not transcribed. You see the point? This is uh, almost like the, uh, the hybrid car. Uh, if the electricity, the electricity, the, the hybrid car going to use the electricity. The, the, the gasoline engine is still just to power the electricity. Only when the electricity is out, then the gas will to power the car directly. This is basically similar to that. So the cell always going to use the glucose <coughs> as a primary source. So only when glucose is run out, uh, lactose will be used. See the point? Mm -hmm. How can cell do this? It's, it's something, uh, so something called catabolite repression. Uh, basically, when glucose is around, uh, other carbon source will be repressed. Uh, and the catabolite repression is done by this CMP uh, and CMP 
uh, a CAP binding code. Uh, I forgot the acronym. Can, can you look for the acronym for CAP? It's probably on the previous slide, but oh, I can go back to the previous slide. CAP, Sapping ANT Reporter Protein. Okay. Uh, so, so when glucose is high, CAMP is very low. So when, glu uh, when glucose is high, the CAMP should be low. There's no CAMP, and the, and this binding site uh, will be uh, empty. And only when this site, well, only when this when the protein binds there, the RNA polymerase will be recruited there. So the, the RNA polymerase can only transcribe when the CMP, CAP binds to this CAP binding site. Only this time, these two have to work together for the transcription to start. Uh, without it, so without it, it, it actually won't start. So, but but then there's also a, a repressor. When, if the repressor is here, so this time is low glucose and no lactose. The repressor is there. The CMP, even though CMP is there, the RNA polymerase cannot work here. RNA polymerase. It cannot bind to this place. It will be blocked. Uh, so basically, uh, let me summarize here. So you have a false situation. Uh, you have two, two uh, sorts of carbon, lactose, glucose. Right. So, you, so glucose can be high. If glucose is high, glucose can be low. Lactose can be high <coughs> or low or not available. So, and then if you look at the lac operon, uh, those will be the lac operon expression. Okay. In this stage, will the lack of uh, let me pick up uh, at this. So when glucose is low, lactose is high. Will lack up from the uh, transcribed? No. Glucose. <coughs> uh, can, maybe it's I should a, open a. Uh, let me let me open a picture. <laughs> uh, this will be uh, at this at this one. Uh, a means on. B means off. A. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm still uh, opening up the uh, starting the turning point. Can we see that slide? 
Oh, let's see the slide. Sure. Uh, uh, not this one. I'm going to show you this. No, that one. Well, that, that one's how you that answer. One's better. <laughs> <laughs> This will tell you the principle. Ah, uh, the principle. <laughs> uh, almost every year I give a question in the exam uh, with us some modification. Yeah. You said if glucose is high. Yeah, glucose is high, lactose is high. Yeah. In fact, it's. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, in fact it's, it's showing here. <coughs> can you can also read your book. Many of you, I know many of you have the electron. Can you just see? Basically, this is called catabolite depression. And uh, if you go back to this, uh, if, so basically, when glucose is high, the CAP will not bind to the activation site, and then RNA polymerase uh, will not will be there. So there's no chance. Just uh, yeah. so this one should be off. Uh, maybe I should give a different color say off. Uh, red light, green light, this is red light, so off. Okay, so, and then uh, this one will be glucose is high, lactose is low, right? So this will be off too. I mean, uh, when there's no lactose, it's off. With no lactose on. Uh, say it again. Yeah. So for this, for the lactose to be on, it, it needs lactose to induce it, and the glucose cannot be high. So that's the only situation. So. Uh, now here's the question. Uh, the question uh, mentions something about complementation, not actually from chapter nine, I think. Uh, but let me tell you what complementation is. Uh, complementation basically is for the cell. Uh, if this is a cell, uh, we have a nuclear genome. Uh, and then we come to another copy of the uh, DNA, and that's called complementase. So, if, uh, basically, if you have a mutation, we put another a different mutation, a different gene. If we put two copies of the same gene, they complement each other. That's, uh, let's say the, the gene mutated, it synthesized uh, like, like the, this, since it's part of the like copron, it doesn't work. Uh, but if we put another copy, the wild type likely there, and then this this mutated one will be rescued. That's complementation. You basically say I put a backup copy into the cell, like you're looking for, and so that's called complement. So. Uh, <coughs> Open the pulley, you can read the questions. So I have two strands. The, the mutation in the lack of problem or related to lack of problem. 
And if I complement this mutation with the first strain, which is like I, if the uh, first strain is like I, Like three means it mutated to the defective topic. Plus means it's a wild type, a functional topic. Uh, like Y plus, <coughs> like A plus. Uh, the box. This is number one. This is number two. First one is uh, if black I is defective, that means the repressor is never functional. So this one going to always express a lack of prong. So this one basically is a lack of prong is always expressed. Uh, some sometimes we call this constitutional expression of constitutional mutant. This is something for us. Uh, I'm not sure why I spelled it uh, of lack of problem. The next one, uh, uh, strain 2 is only induced uh, like Z, but no Y. No Y, but they also fail. And for this mutation, X, if I put into a strain 1 background, uh, like the is still expressed even when lactose is not there. If I put in the number two strand, the lactose still induces like the. <coughs> uh, which of the mutation is, is consistent with the observation? A will be CIT binding site, B is promoter, C is like I, D is operator. response. Uh, you, you can try by elimination of errors and you can just pick each one see if that one mutate can that fit the observation or not. So this is basically the only four choices if you just pick one see whether it's going to work or not. Essentially, uh, this like X mutation didn't change the phenotype of either strain. Uh, both strains still remain the same phenotype. So that means C is out. is actually your favorite choice. <laughs> so, but C doesn't make sense. Uh, it's because the uh, if, if if C is if the mutation is C, I put into the first strain. That means that the repressor will be synthesized, and then this will win, and then the, <coughs> the lack of brown will be repressed when no lectures is around. So, so if, if, if you lack I, the first one, the phenotype will be changed. So the C has to be out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can look for promoter, operator, or binding site. Right. Uh, if it's promoter, if it's a mutation in the promoter region, 
Actually, are similar. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> ah, this question actually, instead of say complementation, I would I would just say put in the background in the same. Uh, convert in a you know, stand up to be more clear. Did you see that? In the same strain. The same strain. In, if that case, operator cannot apply. Operator is right uh, because because well it's a mutation in operator right if it's a mutation in operator the first one is still correct the second one. Oh, if it's if still complementation, the first one is also also always work. So I don't have to change the change the this part is still correct. So we are go back again. So the question is correct. Uh, so if you look at the promoter operator here, if the mutation is in the operator, there is a, a mutation in the operator. Is actually consistent with with both criteria. But promoter and uh, CIP binding are not. These two actually are the same. So promoter and CIP binding have the same effect. Both will induce the. So, so from that logic, unless the question says there are two choices, actually A and B, since they have been both either correct or wrong, so A and B will be. <laughs> so that actually gives you the only choice of B. <laughs> In a sense, if there's only one choice, that B is the only choice. Right? So, <laughs> So that's not the <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, uh, there's another uh, there's another mechanism. Uh, in fact, in fact, actually, this is not just in fact in in human too. Right? There's something called quorum sensing. I'm going to let you uh, uh, tell me uh, what is quorum sensing. Uh, can you give me an example of quorum sensing? Real life. It is quorum sensing. What does quorum mean? Isn't it like it keeps the order? Uh, what does quorum mean? Or uh, the normal order means to keep the order. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I did this uh, game before. Uh, Erica, can you can I help you to lift this desk? <laughs> what? Roll it. You can roll it. Uh, uh, I'm not. I think, but you, you can lift. Uh, how many friends do you want to ask? Uh, you need to lift this desk. To be honest, like seven. <laughs> you, you need how many? Like seven. Or seven. <laughs> Okay. Uh, basically, that's the question. If you so basically, you, if you have one person, you are not going to do it. If you have two, three, eight, you may.
ngayon wala ko do it. So maybe form like is majority. Yeah, that's basically what a far is. So <laughs> when you have enough <laughs> people want to do the same thing, then you start to, to work on it. If you just just one cell and it want to start something, it's going to think twice. <laughs> that's basically what the far is. Yeah. So, when you actually sit on the desk, when someone tries to do it, just to make sure it's not going to do a little bit. <laughs> but I guess <laughs> you just decide you are not going to even try. <laughs> so, yeah. so basically, the quorum sensing is something, I mean, if, if you think that uh, humans or other, most of animals, they can communicate, right? Like a wolf pack or uh, uh, a lion, uh, they, they, they hunt as a group because they can communicate with each other. But bacteria, they don't communicate with each other. How do they organize? That's basically the mechanism. It's called quorum sensing. Now, how do bacteria figure out how to collaborate? And they use something. Actually, uh, <coughs> without looking at it, how do you think the if you cannot talk to each other, how are you going to collaborate and try to do something? What? Chemical messaging. Uh, sorry, what? Light? Writing. The writing is also communicating. Um, <laughs> mind reading. Body language. Like chemical signals? Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't leave a signal. Like in the old days, uh, uh, oh yeah. Here's, here's what I want. You know, in some movies, people try to. There's, there's also something called uh, informant here. Uh, uh, how do uh, 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 an informant working secretly in a place, uh, and how do he cannot communicate openly with police or others? But how do how uh, how does the informant work? He usually leave a signal or put something in a place where other people can find. It. So basically, he leave a signal out there. The basic thing for bacteria too. They, they, they cannot write or call each other, talk to each other. But they, they can leave something out of there. So leave a chemicals. That's what the one of you also say. <laughs> chemical signal. But how? And so every cell leave a little chemical. But once there are a lot of cell in Proximate, uh, proximate, uh, 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 proximity. What's that? Well, how do I pronounce that? Proximity. 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 Thank you. <laughs> uh, every every cell put a little bit. Uh, the concentration will be high enough, and then that actually trigger the quorum sensing response. So, whoops. Uh, yeah. So, so this this auto inducer is a small. I don't see my laser point. That's strange. Oh, fine. So this is basically a chemical signal cell leave out. So those, those each circle is one. So when the cell have a lot, it's going to realize now there are enough of us that we can do something. And usually that's something bad happen. Uh, like infections, outbursts. Uh, in Saccharomyces cerevisiae, there's also a so that that not just happen in a bacteria. That can current system also happen in our system. You probably said in our own cell. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me see. There's another example of. Uh, uh, Gene transcription is called attenuation. This this way is really a to, uh, when I first uh, uh, learned this is uh, also in graduate school. Uh, but it's actually very amazing how this one works. So I have a animation here.
this animation. This is something called attenuation. This apparently only happens in bacteria. So attenuation is something, uh, somehow the translation regulated the transcription process. So, now, we are using an example of tryptophan. So when trip, there is a lot of tryptophan, uh, Uh, attenuation. It, when there is a lot of tryptophan, the uh, translation of okay. For this gene, it actually have a the key is in the first uh, peptide trans, uh, translated. There is a uh, two tryptophan. There are twenty amino acids, so two tryptophan is actually. Uh, over representation of just one amino, one kind of an amino acid. Uh, <coughs> in fact, in bacteria, the translation and the transcription are coupled. So even when the mRNA trans transcribes, but uh, the translation will occur almost at the same time. Uh, so this is, and then the mRNA actually uh, provide a, a response to this. So ribosome, so this is still transcribed. The ribosome is bonded to it. it right now we're assuming there are a lot of tryptophan around, so the translation speed is pretty fast. Uh, it's because the tRNA, charged the tRNA is abundant. This is the full chart. Uh, so there is a secondary structure here. Uh, so, okay. So three. If three and four can form a loop, helping loop, what is this called? Say, say it again. Oh, no, sorry, complement. No. Uh, yes, they are complement, that's right. Every base pairing when it occurs, they must be complementary in base pairing. There's actually a, a name for this kind of structure. It's called... Uh, some of it, uh, based on uh, the, the, the way your mouse moves, it seems to be correct, but I don't want to hear it aloud. <laughs> <laughs> It start with the letter I. Is it? Did just talk about the inverted? Uh, that's right. Did you, you say something? Oh, I just said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, just said I hear a key word. I inverted. Inverted. Um, inverted uh, uh, I forgot the last word. Inverted repeat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Inverted repeat. Yeah. So, but then, so three and four can, uh, can, can form, uh, does that mean two, uh, two and four, two and four, do, do they, uh, do two and four form a uh, uh, helping group or do two and three also form a helping group? Um, uh, oh, actually you don't have enough information for that, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Actually, both of them can form if without an extra information. Sorry, I just wait on that. Let me show you the next slide. Then, then you, then you can answer. Sorry. Okay. So this is ha uh, when tryptophan is plentiful. That's what this happens. When there's not much tryptophan, this what will happen. And translation now is uh, slower. So two and three have a chance to form a healthy. So two and three are also inverted repeats. So now that my question is, 
and who and for for a helping loop. So uh, I'll say A for yes, who are for for a helping loop, uh, B for no. to each other, that means 2 and 4 are exactly the same. Okay, so this is, uh, I think those are the important part of chapter A, and if I can summarize. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, translational and transcriptional control uh, Usually slow. Post translational control, if I regulate the enzyme, not pretty fast. DNA binding protein usually bound to major group and usually bound to inwardly repeat. DNA binding protein are often uh, dimers. Uh, we have the lac operon as a classical example. Lac operon operated uh, need uh, need lac I, which is a repressor. It also need a uh, need to operate uh, when CMP is uh, uh, low, uh, CMP is high when glucose is low. So uh, two other concepts is quorum sensing and attenuation. So okay, uh, I guess now we can uh, decide what we do about the exam. Uh, so for so we finished uh, chapter one, two, three, four. That's for exam one. We are now five, six, seven, eight. We need to do a lab on phylogeny Wednesday. Then we have ten, eleven. We we'll we'll probably want to do chapter 10 also on exam 2. So if some, uh, some of you want to have an exam on next Thursday, is that good? Next Thursday? Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Five, six, seven, eight. Chapter 10 actually not much, yeah. it's also a live chapter. So yeah. That way, then you have a... You have a chapter five, what? Um, so we're doing chapter 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Well, ch chapter 9 just says for bait, that's a lab, right? That's a lab, yeah. So it's just 5, 6, 7, 8, 10? That's a lab, yeah. It's okay. Just, uh, one, two, three, four, five. That even after that still have five chapters left. After how many? Uh, five. So after chapter ten, we still have one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four or five. Yeah, there's another lab. So then, can we do chapter five through chapter nine, and then ten through thirteen? One, two, three, four, five. Either way, you're going to have a. That, then the exam three and final going to cover more. So it basically, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I guess we can 
since we are short of uh, two weeks, maybe we we'll leave leave out a chapter or something. Uh, Let's leave out like chapter ten. <laughs> yeah. uh, chapter ten has to be there. That's the uh, bacteria. Genetic. Okay, we can leave out chapter eight. Chapter 8, what we only talk about it. Well, uh, Dr. Chen, I don't know what you're going to do here. You said leave something out. Uh, work with you. Uh, Kendra. Yes. Can I remind you you are asking recording? Huh? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm going to turn that off. <laughs>